All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bacor. I'm your host, and I'm here with a special edition show. I kind of hinted on it from my last show, and I'm here with a gentleman from Vancouver, Canada, Mr. Harvey Soicher. How British, are you doing, Harvey? British Columbia. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. There you go. Yes, I have to throw the whole thing in. And I do love BC. I used to live there for a bit. I spent some time in the Navy on, in Esquimalt, so I love BC. Uh, go back there quite often, so it's a great place. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to see me. Now, let me just preface by saying that. Harvey is one of the first Canadians to receive the all-new Audi e-tron here uh, behind me and we're going to take a drive in, in a little bit but his story is very unique where he's driving across Canada in this and I want to delve in a little bit into why he's doing that and what his interpretation of the vehicle is so far um, and that way you can get a sense of really kind of what what living with an e-tron is all about but you know Harvey thank you again I know you're just you you just arrived in the Toronto area yesterday and you're coming through for a couple of days well, actually, no, this, morning. Going. this morning I was in so, last night. So he's still fresh, uh, fresh uh, into yeah. the GTA. And I happened to squeeze an hour or so to go meet with him and talk about his car. Now, let's first just uh, start off by saying, you know, why did you want to do this and what was the motivation to get into this? Well, there's a, a variety of motivations. Mm -hmm. It's not just one. Yep. And I would say the first one was um, um, my wife and I were always interested in going to Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, um, unfortunately, she passed away yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. She was always in, in support of me, you know, uh, for us getting an EV. I was really the one really pushing for that, oh. and she was totally, you know, in favor of that. Yep. And um, uh, when, when she passed away, I thought that I would still, you know, want to do this trip, mm -hmm. and, and I would, of course, call it, an, uh, you know, dedicate the trip to her, and that's mm -hmm. why the drive, I called it Marianne's Electric Drives. Yes. Yeah, I'll have your website link and all that in the show yep. notes for people to go to. Yep. But uh, so, you know, it's a fantastic cause, and, and certainly understand the motivation, and, and to give you the will to do what you're doing and you know you're coming at a great time of the year we're having a hot summer right yeah. across Canada and most yeah. of North America actually so um, but you know now your story is unique because you're new to EVs this is your very first electric vehicle yeah, you've ever had you jump right. right in and after only a couple of days of ownership decided hey I'm gonna start driving 6,000 kilometers or well more. I've been planning you this know? for many years sure. yep. and mm -hmm. uh, I mean the other components are actually because I'm an advocate mm -hmm. and one of the first things that people always ask is you know what's the range mm -hmm. and and um, uh, to show that, uh, you know, in an EV can not just commute, that you can also go across the country. And, and, and the, the route that I took is, or the route that I'm taking, is not just across, the can across Canada. And of course, there's spots across Canada that are very challenging, yeah, but totally. I took a northern route. So I knew it'd be challenging. Mm -hmm. I knew that if there was a you know uh, an issue, you know I, you know it was it was gonna it could happen. Right. You know that I could get stuck, mm -hmm. but I was looking forward to the challenge, mm -hmm. and I, I wanted a challenging route to show that you know that you can actually take a car, you know even in, in a situation where it's remote and still make it. And so far, so good. Mm -hmm. Because I'm I'm in an Audi, I, I wanted to show people you know, how I like the Audi, yep. the reports on the car, mm -hmm. you know, I'm doing a full charging log. That's great. And again, I'll have the link. So I certainly encourage you to check those out because you'll get detail and you'll continue to get updated detail even after the show goes to air uh, as you continue your journey across Canada and, and then I think into parts of the U.S. You know, overall, what, what's kind of the number one thing that stands out so far in your drive today in driving a fully electric vehicle? So I knew I was going to get a good experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I never test drove it before I, you know, put my down right. payment. Yep. But honestly, of all the things that I like about the car, you know, the good fuel economy, oh, I'm going green, um, and the fact that I know the maintenance bill is going to be lower, mm -hmm. the best part is the drive. The drive mm -hmm. is so good. It's blowing my expectations. You've got that EV grin. I said to him when I met him, you've got that EV yeah. grin on your face. Yeah. It's so quiet. Yeah. It's so powerful. It's, it, it handles Absolutely. so well. It's just a dream. It's a dream machine is really what it is. And, and Take away all that stuff I just mentioned about, you know, uh, being green and all that. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's the drive. The drive is so fantastic. If you're a car enthusiast, you cannot not love it. It's mm -hmm. that great. It's just fantastic. It is, you know, and we talked about this just before we started filming that that's, that's something that a lot of people don't really emphasize enough. And, and you know, one of the things we do as EV advocates and, and people that are involved in, in, in the movement, I guess, in the revolution, hence the name of my show, is basically, you know, get, get people to get into one, get people to drive it. And that's the first experience that they're going to have. And they're going to go, wow, like this is totally different. And all that stuff about range anxiety and about this and stuff kind of just kind of goes off to a bit because now you're talking about something that they can feel, they can experience, and it's very tangible. And that, that's, a, you know, you bring up an excellent point of, uh, uh, of, of people that really uh, f discover EVs when they get in and drive. Right. 
Yeah, or, or go for a ride. So Yeah, but he hasn't yeah. driven this one. Wait till he tries I it. I haven't yet. So <laughs> I was telling him I did have an I-Pace and I have, I've had uh, some other vehicles, but this is going to be unique. So, uh, so well, I appreciate, you know, sharing, setting us up for why you're doing this and, you know, what you're doing. Uh, part of a blog is my, my um, mm -hmm. uh, the po Polar Steps, yep. which right. is like a travel, um, it's kind of like a Facebook, but for travelers. Mm -hmm. And it's just been uh, superb, and I highly recommend that people follow me on Polar Steps. Um, so yeah, so let's get into the car. Let me drive it, give you a little bit of my early impressions of the vehicle so far, and listen to a little bit more of what uh, Harvey's learned from driving his vehicle 6,000 plus miles already. Kilometers. 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 <laughs> Whatever that is in miles. 4,000 miles, I don't know. Yeah. I'll hear it from my American crowd. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm here in Harvey's e-tron. My first time driving an e-tron around a beautiful area of uh, the GTA here. Thanks, Harvey, for letting me drive. So while I, I start driving here, and uh, you have to direct me, I guess, to get out of here. Uh, make a right. Remember. Yeah. So yeah. you'll hear Harvey's directions. But Well, you know, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not <laughs> You just familiar. got here, too. <laughs> well, I've been here a few times. It's my, my, my nephew's place, uh, okay. so I've been so, here a few times. There we go. There we go. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we'll, I'll get through my, so straight, I take it? Yep, just keep and on. then okay. make it right at the corner. Great. Um, so I guess the first sense that I want to get from you before I give some feedback here, I'll, I'll get a few minutes of driving is, so you've got, you know, over 6,000 kilometers now. Um, and the main question that people ask you is, well, it's an electric car. How the heck did you get 6,000? You know, are you able to get here on 6,000 kilometers? What do you tell them? Well, first of all, I, I did two thousand dollar, a two thousand kilometer detour. Yeah, that's right? true. So, that's right, yeah. um, and I wanted to take a route that was a bit more challenging. Yeah. So, um, I, I just wanted to show that you can actually, you know, make it. And the PlugShare app was an invaluable tool. I mean, it shows yes. you where all the chargers are. And then what I do is I go on Google Maps and I take a look at, you know, where what the distances are between the different charging stations mm -hmm. and I had to make sure that I was going to be able to make it with the range of the car and uh, initially you know the EPA rating for this car is 324 kilometers right. and you don't want to push it to the point where you know you're to the last kilometer you, mm -hmm. you want to give That's yourself right. at least a you know 30 kilometer or more cushion yeah so you know you're, you're certainly proof of, of EVs and again you're taking this you're, you're learning the EV world the hard way because you're taking a huge trip, you know, only after spending a few days with this vehicle back home. Um, so, you know, I, and I know you're doing a detailed travel log and, and again, I'll have a link to everything on, on the show notes, but, you know, just in summary from, from the travel log, I mean, what kind of efficiencies, how are you seeing this car go? When you first, as in any car, when you first go up a hill or driving around, your, your efficiency is very, very low. Mm -hmm. And I remember, doing my trip back and forth from Whistler, my efficiency was actually pretty good, like around 24 or 25 um, uh, kilowatts per 100 kilometers. And mm -hmm. that's how they kind of gauge the efficiency on electric cars. And it was, when we first left, it showed 44. And I was freaking out, like right away, just leaving the house. Yeah. But once we got going, it, you know, then it was, it got back to normal and, you know, it was fine. But what was, the best part is, is I'm smashing the range estimates by the EPA. Yeah, you were telling me that. I've been, we've been getting, um, you know, easily, like the worst is 340, which is still wow. above the rating. But the average I'd say would be 360 to 380. And right. at times I've gotten over 400. And that, and that, the majority of that is just constant driving, you know, stopping every couple of hours, but basically driving on you know, highway speeds, whether it be 85, 90, 95, right. 105 kilometers, you know, depending on the road and the highway system. Right, I mean, right? we just put it, usually yep. we're driving at the speed limit or maybe yep. five kilometers over yep. or five kilometers under. In BC, the first part of our trip, there was level three chargers everywhere mm -hmm. and, and charging wasn't an issue at all. We never was inconvenienced at all um, getting the charge. Um, and, uh, but I, I, I was welcoming the challenge, you know, I was, mm -hmm. I was any type of um, inconvenience was fine. And that's, you know, some of the apps like PlugShare and stuff, as you mentioned, you know, they show amenities around areas. And, you know, I've been telling my viewers that infrastructure is continuing to grow, continuing to grow. So these types of trips will become easier. And again, with something of having 350, 360, 370 kilometers of range, you, you can go quite far without having to stop. Well, you know, I, my first impressions of driving this car. Yeah, I let's mean, hear it. I'm, I'm not, uh, I certainly was well aware of fit and finish with Audi. It, it, it's high quality, nothing squeaks, rattles. Everything is very solidly fit. You can feel it in the vehicle. 
The suspension is very nice. It's got a bit of play, um, but it's soft, but not too soft. It's not cushy. It's, it, it, you, you can feel the road. Well, I can change um, that. I can actually I know have you the can. adjustments that I can give yeah. you more of a sporty feel That's or right. more of a comfort That's feel. Right, right yeah. now, I've got one kind in the middle. Right, right. So, you know, you know, we're taking some bumpy roads here. We're going on a little bit of winding parts. Um, it's very, very quiet. So, you know, as you, you showed me your quiet video, and I encourage people to go look at your YouTube channel as well, um, this is very quiet, and, and that's what the beauties of EVs is the quietness of them. Um, I, very, if there's any motor whine, it's extremely minimal. It's hard for me to, to hear. And folks will know that I just reviewed the Kia Nero, and uh, that was a little louder than, than, than this vehicle would be, and even my Leaf, because my Leaf is pretty quiet. So, uh, so certainly what Audi has done in noise reduction, in, in comfort, the seats are very comfortable. It's just it's a very pleasant experience, as you kind of told me it would be. Uh, before getting in a drive so uh, um, you know they, they've done it right with this vehicle um, my only concern with Audi is I hope they can get uh, enough on the road that's <laughs> going to be the challenge <laughs> right. because you know meet those demands once people try you know drive it it's uh, it's going to be pretty hard for them to say uh, you know that yeah you know, they're, again one of the issues when I first uh, put my deposit down was the range yes and uh, now um, I've shown myself that you know the, that uh, that's a very low estimate. And one of the things that I found out about Audi is that they they under promise and over deliver, ah, and yeah. and uh, that's common with with, uh, with Audi. Even yes. when they said I would get my delivery in August, uh -huh. I got it at the end of June. So uh, that okay. that was great. Nice, nice. Well, so you know, just from a quick summary, folks, uh, this is. A beautiful vehicle. I, I expected nonetheless, to be honest with you. I am very familiar with the German build quality and the mechanisms they have there. So, definitely a beautiful, uh, beautiful vehicle. Well, uh, you know, I'll do a little bit more driving as we get back, but I wanted to close off by saying thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. My pleasure. I'm, I'm, uh, I was, I'm really happy to. Uh, to have this opportunity to talk about the car and, and uh, to the, all your viewers. I'm really yeah, pleased no, about that. Thank you very that. much for that and for giving me a few minutes to spend behind the wheel. That's been an exciting part, but also more so just to hear your story. Um, and, and again, that confidence that EVs you know, can, can do the job of a regular car. I mean, yeah. yes, sometimes you have to give it a bit more thought depending on what you're doing, but if you get something with enough range and there's enough infrastructure and you know, you're charging at home for a lot of it, you know, that may not fit everybody's use case. Absolutely. So yeah. they, you know, there is that that's coming to help people in, in situations like condos. Yeah, right now it's just in, in the infancy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it going is. to get better and better all the time. Certainly will. So listen, I, I'm, I'm going to continue to follow you and uh, look at your journey Great. and I'll have, all, again, all your contact information after the show, but I encourage my viewers to do that. Um, and that's it for really this special episode of EV Revolution Show with my special guest, Harvey, and his beautiful, lovely, brand new uh, e-tron, one of the first ones in Canada. So it's a fantastic vehicle. And, and encourage him, go on his website, encourage him to uh, continue his journey across Canada. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everybody watching and for comments and likes and dislikes, whatever you want. I'm open to everything. Again, always uh, blessed by my uh, Patreon supporters. Thank you very much. And if you're interested in that, you can check out the Patreon website and follow me and, and do that. But until the next show, everybody, please stay safe, and we'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.